Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. I've been asked by one of you, my viewers, to do a black magic disk test. Now, a little bit about my setup here. On this particular Hackintosh, this is this is the one from the build video. This is the one upstairs in my boy's room. So it has a Seagate three terabyte SATA6 drive internal. It also has, and this is what the OS is running on, it has a 120 gigabyte SSD, and that is also internal on the SATA6 bus. And that's what Mac OS X is running on. Now, I also have a USB 3.0, I believe it's a four terabyte drive, attached right now, and that's what I'm recording this video on. So I'm using Telestream uh, ScreenFlow to record this, and it's going to the USB 3.0 drive. So that way uh, it won't affect the testing. So let's pull up Blackmagic here. All right, there's our speed test. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select our target drive of the SSD. So I'm just gonna choose the desktop here. And I've selected the five gigabyte stress test. So hopefully that's okay. I'm just gonna click start and we'll see what happens. So the write is pretty much maxing out at 500 megabytes per second. Now this is not megabits as far as I can tell. Megabits is like network throughput. Megabytes is usually disk throughput. So 430 megabytes write, 508 read. And then the second time around, for some reason it goes down. I, I assume that has something to do with the cache kicking in. So we had like 140 write and still 500 read. 140 write, 500 read, yeah, 120, a little lower. Now I assume that that's like the true write speed of the drive. I assume that's bypassing the cache, but I'm not sure. Um, we can also see through iStat menus up here while this runs, we can look at the SSD throughput. Okay, and there's our Seagate drive, and so we can see the read and the write throughput as it happens. And we get to see a little graph there as it happens as well. Now, I told you guys in a previous video that iStat Menus was free. That was apparently a trial period. I actually just purchased a license for them. Uh, it was like $25 for a five uh, machine family license. So it's extremely affordable. I, you know, I would highly recommend you buy it because it's useful for debugging throughput issues. So yeah, 150, eh. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea how the SSD performs. Let's stop that test and switch over to the Seagate drive. All right. And we're going to do the same thing. Now this is a magnetic disk, so you know, I expect it to be quite a bit slower. Writes up to 182, and again, this is the first pass. Read is 209, 203, 199. So it seems like the Seagate drive is consistently faster at write speed and consistently slower at read speed. Slower by more than half. Uh, faster by, I don't know, 80 to, to 50 megabytes per second. So that's interesting. Okay, and uh, for our third test, I'm going to stop this recording and restart it. And I'm going to record this to the Seagate drive this time because I'm going to test my uh, USB 3.0 external hard drive. It's, I believe it's a four terabyte drive on the USB 3.0 using this Blackmagic speed test. So that'll be, that'll be kind of interesting seeing how USB 3.0 performs on a Hackintosh. Okay, so for this test, uh, we are going to see... Yeah, okay, so... Okay, so this is my SSD, this is my Seagate drive, and this is my external drive. So you can see that uh, ScreenFlow is writing its throughput to the Seagate drive this time. And uh, now we're going to test the external drive. Here we go. 187, 170, 167, 169.
Yeah, so this is pretty comparable to the Seagate drive. Uh, it might actually be a little slower than the Seagate drive. Um, you know, maybe that's just because it's USB 3.0, I'm not sure. But it's very close. It's so close that I, I would... I would imagine you wouldn't even notice if you were doing video editing or something, but who knows. So anyway, that's it for that. So I will have links to all of these hard drives down below in the description. So if you want to, you know, see what, what these hard drives cost on Amazon or uh, see the specs on them, I will link to them down below. Those are affiliate links. So if you buy something through there, I get a small commission. Just helps me support the channel and, and continue making videos that are awesome for you. Again, this is Jesse with Create This. If you like this video, click like. Uh, if you hated it, click hate, <laughs> dislike, whatever. If, if you have any questions or comments about my testing procedure or anything else, please feel free to leave me a comment. I, I read all of those and I usually reply to them fairly quickly. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.